If you'll go grab your calculator, I want to show you some useful tricks about changing the view of your graphing calculator. We're going to use the button named Zoom and the button that's marked Window. Okay, let's take a look at this cubic function. Now you should know what a cubic function should look like. Let's go ahead and graph it. Do this with me. Put it into your calculator. Do you remember how to do that? Turn that baby on. Hit the Y equals button. Clear out anything you did from last class, perhaps. You may not have to do that. And now type this function, 0.5x to the third power plus 12. And if we want to look at the picture, hit the graph button. Now what will you see? You know what it's going to look like? Probably it'll look like this. And that sure doesn't look like a cubic function, does it? A cubic function should have a little squiggle in it. Well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that we're probably set to the standard zoom and we're in too close. Okay, because this one basically is, is a little bit larger picture, if you would, so we're we're staring in it too close. So we'll use the zoom button. We need to move back, if you would. Hit the zoom button and you'll see the options. And then hit number three. You can hit the number three or or cursor to the number three, which is out. So you're going to zoom out. And then you have to hit enter. And it'll move back and you'll be able to see something like that, which is obviously is a cubic. Okay? And you've corrected it with zoom. So the possible zooms, there's a bunch of them, but probably the ones that you'll use or to zoom to a box where it'll ask you for the top left and bottom right corners of your actual uh, window that you want to choose. Number two is to zoom in if you're not close enough. Number three is to zoom out. That's, that's what you'll use most of the time, I think. And if you want to set it back to the way that it was before, number six is to zoom standard. And the standard window, if you would, goes from plus 10 to minus 10 for X and from plus 10 to minus 10 for Y. Okay? Make sure you change your zoom back to 6, standard, so that I know where everybody's at. We're all looking at the same picture. Go ahead, stop right now and change it to zoom and either hit 6 or cursor to 6 and hit enter and set it back to the standard zoom. If you think of your calculator as a camera, and you're taking a picture of what you want to look at, of course, zooming out will basically work all the time. Except that sometimes, once again thinking of it as a camera, if you zoom out too far, what you're looking at is so little that it's of no use to you. You can't tell what it is. So there's a better answer sometimes, if you think of it as a camera, is to move your camera. And that's going to be to actually change your what we call the window. Now let's look at this, what is a quadratic function, because it's x squared. Okay, If you haven't already, turn your calculator on, hit y equals, clear out what we just did, and put in this function, x squared plus 25. Now that's going to move it up 25, isn't it? And if you hit the graph button, what do you see? You know what you see? I don't see anything. I see a blank graph. Now, why don't I see anything? What happened? Well, remember the standard window, if you, if you set it back to a standard window, only goes as high as 10 and as low as negative 10, and we're up at 25. So we're looking too low. Now, we could zoom out, but another option is to change the window. That's not going to change the size of it. It's going to change kind of the angle where you're looking at. If try hitting window, then you're going to have to go down three times to the Y minimum. And we're going to change the Y minimum to 20. So the lowest number on the Y axis is going to be 20. And then go down and change the Y maximum to 50. So we're going to be looking at this graph from 20 to 50. 
then hit graph. Now you'll see the picture that you expected, a quadratic parabola. Now it's interesting to note that this dotted line here is not really an axis. That's why it's dotted. It's to warn you that it's the edge of your window, but it's not the x-axis. It's to warn you that you're not looking at a standard window. Now, what are these things in the window button? What you have available to you is the x-min, that's the left edge of your window, the x-max, that's the right edge, the x-scale, that's how wide you want your x-units to be, the y-minimum, which is what we manipulated there, the y-maximum, that's the top edge, and the y-scale. Now unless you have some other reason where your x's are much larger than your y's or, for, or whatever, you're not going to want to change the scales, at least at this point. But as you can see, if you wanted to move up, you're going to change your uh, y's, maxes, and min's. And if you wanted to move to the left or right, you'd change your x, min's, and maxes. Now as I said before, unless you change it, the standard window is going to go from negative 10 to 10 for x's and from negative 10 to 10 for y's and the scale is going to be 1 to 1. Now if you do change it and you need to change it back to the standard window remember that you're going to use zoom. Okay, A whole different button. You're going to use zoom and number 6 standard and that will set it back to the way it was before. Okay, Go try it. Use it with your homework. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Practice makes perfect.